Hello everyone, it's me once again. So as you notice, I got a new camera. This is the Canon EOS M50 that I bought yesterday. I made an unboxing and hopefully a Q&A video. So if you have any queries, please do click on the link of the video. Is it here or here? And um, if you wanna know more about the products, I'll come back to you uh, when I can. As you know, I do come back to all the comments. Uh, as much as I can so far and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so we're going to talk about today the, um, the new technology that Facebook is trying to bring which is the AR glasses that they have talked about apparently 2016 and I think they have also submitted a patent but let me highlight you the few articles that I have seen. So here it goes. Right, so this article was is, uh, published a couple of days ago, actually, uh, two days max, but I was willing to share this with you anyway. So, so Facebook is working on a smart glass with Ray-Ban. You all know Ray-Ban and the code name is Orion, which is the Greek, Greek mythology um, character's name, the hunter. Now the Facebook has partnered with uh, is it Luxotica to develop augmented um, Reality Ray-Ban glasses. Sources familiar with the matter told in CNBC. So we got a YouTube video available on, uh, from CBNC, CNBC. Sorry, in regards to this, and Facebook is hoping to partnership with uh, Luxottica. Uh, will result the glasses reaching to consumers by 2023, which is we've got another three or four years, five, six years. So. This is the right way forward, actually. I could read all the articles for you, but uh, the next article... All right, so this is from The Verge, and um, it's quite important because what, what I was really disappointed about Apple event this year is that there was no new product. Uh, what I mean is it's a new invention in some way. And we all know since the invention of OLED, we've got this bendable phone that Samsung has already um, published. They're selling for $2,000. I, I believe Motorola is also in a rumor to do the similar thing that you could actually, um, using the mechanics also to you know, make it in half uh, or double the size of the original um, case and models and whatever you want to say, put it. But um, basically, Facebook is now looking to the next step, which is a natural movement where they're going to be um, replacing the mobile phone entirely. So according, according to the uh, CNBC, these glasses, codename is Orion, won't be a supplemental to your phone. In other words, it's not like the additional thing. They're supposed to be built to replace entirely. They will, they will reportedly be um, able to take calls, obviously. That's already happening with Bose here, uh, they are sunglasses without being uh, tethered to the smartphone and will show information in a small display, which is brilliant. So this is the way forward. This is what I'm really looking forward to, but Facebook reckons it's gonna be for four, another four or five years to go. Um, but I'm sure Microsoft have already come up with their um, brilliant hologram uh, glass, but they're bloody expensive at the moment. But uh, this is similar to Google Glass, but um, and etc. So you can read all these um, articles, but mainly I just want to highlight to you the patent that apparently Facebook has submitted. So it's here, and it's quite interesting. Unlike the um, Google Glass, they have actually put the camera here. It's still a frame, and there's also the acoustic sensor, which is the piezoelectric transducer this these are all these scientific things so basically i believe the transducer is something where um, it transfer from some the, the way how it receives for either by sound or vibration or touch or sense or whatever it actually um, converts it into a certain signal that will trigger the other bits involved so that's what I believe the transducer is if you disagree let me know but anyway these are these are the quite interesting patent uh, that they're working on so the truth is it might happen it might not Google Glass have um, failed I believe uh, I don't know whether they're gonna release the next generation but um, a lot of companies are starting to realize the next thing people are getting fed up with the same old mobile phone touchscreen 
Now the next step is should be foldable since the invention of OLED as I said and then the next step, the final step which I will consider um, and I, don't, I can't predict the next step but it, will, it should be this um, the smart uh, smart glass or should we say AR glass that will um, be, like basically replace the smartphone entirely I think it's gonna be a good time I don't know how that's gonna affect our eye health of our eye condition etc but it's an exciting project and basically in this channel I'm trying to highlight what's gonna happen in the near future and the way forward so I just want to let you know Probably you're, if you are a fan of this channel, maybe you're ahead of the time knowing what's going to happen. Anyway, I hope this gave, gave you a bit more interesting thoughts on what's the way of the forward, the future, the technology, smartphones, smart glasses, Ray-Ban and Oreo on Facebook. Um, but if you have any thoughts that you want to share, please do comment and make sure you subscribe to this channel. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a nice weekend. It's Friday tomorrow. All the best. Bye.